this product I'm going to be talking to you about today is what's known as our RA56. So RA56 is specifically designed to infill hairline cracking on a floor. Given that it's really low viscosity, the best way I could describe it is it's like water. Okay, really, really flowable. Once again, you've got your part A and part B within the mix. This is not an epoxy, it's actually a polyure polyurethane. Okay, so it's a polyurethane crack and spore repair. So specifically, like I said, to get into the cracks. Now, one thing you've got to make sure of that if you are filling in cracks, especially with this type of product, you need to make sure that if you're dealing with a second story, third story, fourth story, commercial, whatever it may be, and you're trying to use this material, have a look underneath. Make sure that the crack hasn't gone all the way through the surface, because if it is, I highly recommend you do not use this. Because what will happen is it will flow through the crack and onto the furniture, onto the floor coverings below. So please be careful. If we're dealing with shrinkage cracking on a slab on ground, you can use this. Keep in mind, you may use more than what you think, because like I said, it is flowable. It is like water, so it will just want to travel as you'll see in a minute. Another advantage with the RA56 as well, if you've got larger areas, so if you've got a, a larger spore um, that you need to repair, so on a concrete floor where there's a large dip, especially for any renovations where they're jackhammering and you've got a lot of um, divots of concrete on the surface, you can mix it with sand and you can also mix aggregate into it to make it go further or to bulk it out. All right, so that's the other advantage with the RA56. So when you want to decant the RA56, what you want to be doing is you want to be making sure that you've um, placed the cartridge into the medium to heavy duty corking gun. Okay. What I'll then like to recommend is getting yourselves an empty water bottle. Okay. Placing the empty water bottle over top of the cap like so. So it's a nice tight fit. And then what you want to be doing is you want to be pumping it until you hear a click. So that click right there is what you want to be aiming for. Because right now I know that part A and part B are going to be mixed evenly. I'll then remove the bottle, place the nozzle onto the top. I'll then place the nozzle on top of that. All right, so once you've decanted and you've put the nozzle on, now it's time to pump the material through the nozzle and into the crack. So like I said, this is very low viscosity, so you only want to be going very, very slowly, because as you can see here, it's coming out like it is water. And I'll make sure you fill into the crack with the RA56, just like so, and it will fill in the crack, you know, depending on how wide the crack is and how deep the crack is, you may need to continually pumping. But right now, that's all that's required. So as you can see, the material itself has come out black. Don't stress, five minutes, it will actually turn gray. So then what you can do then as well is you can then get your scraper, scrape the material away, less likely and less work for you having to grind away the material. I mentioned earlier that you can also use, it, um, use sand or aggregate as bulk fill. So you've got your aggregate. What you would do is you would mix the material into the aggregate, just like so, and also the sand. So right now the sand is absorbing the material. Here you can actually still see some of the aggregate, so you wanna put a little bit more on top of it. It doesn't hurt if you wanna get yourself a little scraper what you're doing there is you're bulk filling the RA56 with the aggregate and with the sand. Great to fix in any of your spores or any large areas other than cracking. So we'll let that sit there for a little bit and then what you'll see is the material starting to turn grey. Once grey, it's generally ready to go, it's dried. And then what you can do is you can get your angle grinder um, to grind the surface to make it nice and smooth and you've infilled your cracks. Remember, Cracking can be a difficult one. Always, if possible, refer to an engineer or also a builder where they may have more information on the crack itself. If you want to as well, you can, while it's still a little bit wet, apply a little bit of sand on the top surface. This allows for a mechanical key to then for your waterproofing membrane to stick to.